Hello everyone! Our topic today is all about surface area and volume of cones. And this topic can be found in pages 27 to 34 of your textbook. To begin with, I will give you a question from our previous lesson and you will answer it in 10 seconds. Let us read all together the problem. Taking pi is equal to 22 over 7, find the volume of a cylinder with radius 2 meters and height 7 meters. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's right. The answer is 88 cubic meters. Now let us have our lesson. Now let us derive the surface area and volume of a comb. Supposing we have this comb. This is R, this is H, and this is L. R stands for radius, H for the vertical height, and L for the slant height. To get the slant height, we will be having L squared is equal to R squared times H squared. It is based from the Pythagorean theorem. And to get the surface area, we will be adding the area of the base and the curved surface. So since we all know that the base is a circle, so we will be having pi r squared plus pi r l. And then for the volume, it is equal to one third times area of the base times height. And the area of the base is pi r squared. So we will be getting one third times pi r squared times h. Or another idea so that you can remember the volume of a cone. Volume of cone is equal to one third times volume of a cylinder. And you know the volume of cylinder is equal to what? Correct. So it will be equal to one third times pi r squared h. So either of the two will do. Now let us have example number one. Let us read all together the problem. Find the surface area of a solid cone of the base radius 7 cm and slant height 15 cm. Take pi is equal to 22 over 7. So supposing we have this cone. So our slant height is equal to 15 cm and radius is equal to 7 cm. We all know that the surface area is equal to pi r squared plus pi r l. Now let us substitute the values. So we will be having 22 over 7 times 7 centimeters squared plus 22 over 7 times 7 centimeters times 15 centimeters. Simplifying further, we can cancel 7 and 7. And then we are going to multiply 22 over 7 times 49 square centimeters plus 22 centimeters times 15 centimeters. We can cancel 7, which is, will become 1, and then 49 will become 7. So simplifying further, we get 22 times 7 square centimeters plus 22 centimeters times 15 centimeters. So what is 22 times 7? Correct. So it would be equal to 154 square centimeters plus 330 square centimeters. Adding it up, it is equal to what? Correct. So we have the surface area which is equal to 484 square centimeters. That is example number one. Let us have example number two. Let us read all together the problem. Find the base area of a cone of curved surface 44 square centimeters and slant height 3.5 centimeters. Take pi is equal to 22 over 7 and give the answer correct to two decimal places. Supposing this is the cone, our slant height is equal to 3.5 centimeters. We will use the idea of the curved surface, which is equal to 44 square centimeters. And then we are going to substitute the formula for curved surface, which is equal to pi rl. So which is equal to 44 square centimeters. Then now we are going to put the values for your pi and slant height. So we will be getting 22 over 7 times r times 3.5 centimeters is equal to 44 square centimeters. Dividing both sides by 22 over 7 and 3.5, we will be getting 
r is equal to 44 times 7 over 22 times 1 over 3.5. Simplifying further, we get 4 centimeters. So the radius is equal to 4 centimeters. Now we are going to compute for the base area. So base area is equal to pi r h. We will be substituting the value of your r and pi. So we will be getting 7 over 22 times 4 centimeters squared. So what is 4 squared? Correct. It is equal to 16. So we will be having 7 over 22 times 16 centimeter squared or square centimeters. Simplifying further, we get what? Correct. So we will be getting base area is equal to 50.29 square centimeters since we are going to correct it to two decimal places. That is example number two. Now let us have example number three. Let us read all together the problem. Find the volume of a solid cone with base radius of 7 centimeters and height 27 centimeters. Take pi is equal to 22 over 7. Supposing this is the cone, the height is 27 centimeters and the radius is equal to 7 centimeters. Now let us use the volume for cone which is equal to 1 over 3 times pi r squared h. Substituting the volumes, we have 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 7 centimeters squared times 27 centimeters. Simplifying further, we get 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 49 square centimeters times 27 centimeters. We can cancel 3 in the denominator and 27 will become 9. We can cancel 7 in the denominator and 49 will become what? Correct. It will become 7. Now let us multiply 22 times 7 times 9, which is equal to what? Correct. So the volume of the cone is equal to 1,386 cubic centimeters. So take note, if we are going to compute for the volume, it is always expressed to the third power. So that is example number three. Let us have example number four. So this would be the last example. Let us read all together the problem. Find the height of a cone of base radius 21 centimeters and volume of 3,675 pi cubic centimeters. Supposing this is the cone, so our radius is equal to 21 centimeters. So the volume of cone is equal to 1 over 3 times pi r squared h. Substituting the value of the volume and the radius, we will be having 3,675 pi cubic centimeters is equal to 1 over 3 pi times 21 centimeters squared h. Since we are solving for h, we are going to divide both sides by 1 over 3 pi times 441 square centimeters since 21 squared is equal to 441. Now we are going to cancel this one and also the pi. Simplifying further, we get h is equal to 25 centimeters. Before I end up the discussion, can you answer the question? I will give you 10 seconds to answer this one. Let us read all together the problem. Find the volume of a solid cone with base radius of 3 centimeters and height 7 centimeters. Take pi is equal to 22 over 7. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's right. The answer is 66 cubic centimeters. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. Bye!